just to review, tennis elbow is an extremely common condition. What's interesting from a naming standpoint is only about 5% of patients actually play tennis. The overwhelming majority of cases resolve with conservative treatment. In some cases, however, there's a physical change to the tendon. Rather than inflammation or tendonitis, degeneration and scarring are present within the deep undersurface of the tendon near the bony attachment. This is due to chronic micro-tearing with poor healing and is more appropriately called tendinosis. So from a surgical standpoint, this is a very important uh, fact to understand. The surface of the tendon is normal. It's the undersurface of the tendon near its bony attachment where the degenerative changes, scarring, and fraying occur. On ultrasound, this area of unhealthy tendon is readily identified and visible. On the lower left, the asterisk shows a dark area or hypoechoic area classic for this zone of scar. Similar findings are seen on the MRI on the right. So from a surgical standpoint, the goal is pretty simple. It's excision or removal of the degenerative tissue or zone of chronic micro tearing. Unfortunately, the gold standard operation requires a significant amount of dismantling of the elbow just to get to the tissue that needs to be excised. So what's possible? In the office, we're able to use ultrasound to visualize the unhealthy portion of tendon. If we confirm that and the patient is failing conservative treatment, rather than recommending an open debridement, we can now offer the FAST procedure. As I mentioned earlier, this stands for focused aspiration and emulsification and removal of soft tissue. The technology, however, is not entirely new. The FACO procedure or FACO emulsification has been used to remove cataracts for close to 30 years and was initially invented in 1967. The 10X soft tissue probe, or TX1 ultrasonic probe, has similar characteristics. It vibrates at 20,000 reps per second. It irrigates and aspirates. So in other words, the FAST procedure allows the diseased portion of tendon to be identified using ultrasound. This section of tendon can be broken down or emulsified with the probe, washed out, and sucked out, all percutaneously under local anesthesia. This shows the actual FAST procedure in progress. An ultrasound is in place over the lateral aspect of the elbow, and the 10X micro tip is placed percutaneously through the skin. The ultrasound image shows the tip of the TX probe approaching an osteophyte over the tip of the lateral epicondyle. The next image shows that this osteophyte has been partially debrided and the final image shows a more normal appearance of attaching tendon as well as the surface of the bone. After the procedure is completed, a small butterfly tape or steri strip is placed over the small puncture wound and a clear adhesive drape allows immediate showering. In summary, benefits of the 10X FAST procedure include a much faster recovery than the typical open approach far less post-operative pain, far less dependence on formal rehab, an earlier return to activities of daily living, and an earlier return to sport, somewhere in the range of six to eight weeks versus three to six months. A few things to keep in mind, however, is that although we feel that this is a game changer, it's not magic. There's still a recovery period as tissue has been excised, and there's still surgical trauma. A degree of post-operative pain can be expected, and following post-operative instructions is still very important.